in some cases, it will make sense to rely on components. Because if someone wants to have a more complicated structure than just element name, it might be complicated to name all the elements and rename them in your design file, like going forward and changing design best practices. But let's imagine that we have a component like sign up and we have the pattern artboard group element name. So in this case, we can see that the component doesn't live in any frame and in this particular example, we would take the upper element as the page name itself, but otherwise it can be frame. And then the component is named sign up. And then we have here button and the actual text sign up. And the proposed kinemin pattern would be onboarding sign up button sign up. If we duplicate this component now and add it to a different place, then actually we would copy the same structure. And if we try to create a key for this component, we also see for this instance of component and boring sign up button sign up. But if we place it to a different frame and it will be used on a different screen, in this case, this is just frame one, okay, but it can be our onboarding screen. Then the key name will be onboarding screen and then sign up button, sign up. So we probably even don't need this sign up and button text. We can just name the component as button if needed without this additional like subgrouping. But the point is that you can just name assets and main components, make sure that the structure looks good enough and then dependent on the context where it will be placed, more similar key names could be generated, but with an extra context on with regards to which screen, which frame they belong to.